Hey guys, today is a demo of the iPhone 3.0 firmware update. Right now it is a beta and it is only available to I, um, Apple developers. And these are the paid Apple developers. You cannot go on there and make a free account and download the software. You have to be a paid Apple developer. Either the $99 for a home developer, like a single use developer, or the $99 for a group developer. And I think there's also a $299 for an enterprise developer. Okay. And this is the 3.0 firmware, and I'll just start off by showing you in settings. And this is an iPhone 3G. Okay, I'll show you in settings, general, and about. And it is very blurry on this camera. I don't know if you can see right there at the bottom. It says 3.0. If not, I'm going to put some screenshots up. I took. So, okay, let's just see. Right here, one of the really big new features in um, the 3.0 is basically like Spotlight on Macs. On, on Macs, you can hit your Apple command key and um, the space bar, and you can search through your entire computer for device, or for um, objects, files, by name, date created, stuff like that. And very similar on iPhone now. If I'm on my home screen, which I am right now, I take it and I scroll to the left. You get this whole bar up here, like it says search iPhone, and I will search for um, a contact name, Chet. Sorry. Chet, look, see? I got Chet up there, or you can search songs, or you can search like an application like iPod. And there you can just launch it from there, and you can select items from there. Okay, a um, couple new, really cool new features. Um, if you haven't noticed right here, uh, first off, they have a little bit um, visual changes. Um, the iPod icon, the phone icon, and the messaging icon have slightly changed. And the um, software also comes up with a new application called Voice Memos. or probably for the iPhones only because we have built-in microphones. And what it is is you can make voice memos to yourself and use it. Watch, I'll give you a little demo right now. This is a demo of the 3.0 iPhone op, um, OS. So I'm going to hit stop, and I'm going to play, go look through the files, and I'm going to play this one right here. 3.0 iPhone op, um, OS. See, there's a quick little demo. It's a really neat little application. I'm going to delete. Okay. So go home. Okay, now really big major features in um, messages, and um, like texting. A really cool new one is uh, you can now text in landscape mode. You have a landscape keyboard features. That is really handy, and now this landscape typing is available in every application you type with, basically or any of the native iPhone applications that you type with. Like um, notes you can type in, landscape, emails, texting, Safari you've always been able to, but it might just be upgraded or so. And a really cool new update for the iPhones, MMS messaging. That means we can now send picture messages. You see up here there's a little camera. I don't know if you can see that little camera button. And look here, I can choose from existing or take a photo right now and I'll just like choose from existing. And I just, sorry, and I'll just pick one of the little screenshots I took, and there we go. Here's a screenshot of my um, springboard. And there you go, look. Now that's picture messaging. Cool. Um, let's go into notes. I'll just show you notes. It's the same thing as old notes, basically, but you do get the landscape. And another feature that is built in to any typing application. Watch, I'll type like, hello, space, okay. So I typed hello there, and now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna double tap, and I'm gonna drag. I don't know if you can see that. See, so I double tapped, and I drag across, and I'm gonna let go. And now, the built in copy, cut, and paste features are here. If you can see, but, right there we get copy, cut, and paste. So I'll just hit, Sorry, I'm gonna put this back down. 
going to hit copy. And now I'm just going to hold down again. And paste. Tap and hit paste. Double tap. Double tap. Paste. That's a really cool new feature. And you can also select it all. And cut. All gone. Cool. So that copy and paste is fully functional. And it is standard in any typing application like I said earlier. Um, see, there's other updates. Sorry, no phone right now. Um, another update in the firmware. Um, when you buy an App Store application, you now can buy items and stuff inside of an application. Basically what that means, say you're playing a racing game, a racing game you downloaded, and you beat all the levels and you want to play more. They might have an option in there, buy the this level pack, buy the ocean level pack, and you can buy that level pack right inside the game without having to go back to your springboard, go into App Store, and download an entire new app for it. You can buy download updates for that for that app. Okay, um, see what else? Also in some other games, the Apple has put in for the iPhones, because we're the only ones with Bluetooth capability. Bluetooth sharing, it's basically like Bluetooth sharing, something like that, where Bluetooth has updates like we now have full access to be able to send files, receive files, stuff like that through Bluetooth, but also we can make little Bluetooth parties where I can pull up a game, maybe a 3.0 game, and um, other people with iPhones around me, we can play together wirelessly like a multiplayer game through Bluetooth without having to use the internet. That is a really cool feature that I think many people will be looking forward to. Okay, so guys, that's about all I have for now. I don't remember any of the other things I can show you. If you have any questions at all, please leave me a comment. Um, please send me a message, make a video response, tell me what you want me you want to see, anything like that. So guys, I have it and it's available for you guys to check out and watch. So comment, rate, and subscribe and send me any questions you have about it. See you guys.